inviting Cumberland River. We're going. We're going, huh? Hello and welcome back to the Build It Vlog. Today's episode a little different than all the other episodes, all the other maybe two or three episodes we've done so far uh, because there's no dirt in this video maybe Matt will have a way to put dirt in somewhere but there is construction that's because we're headed to the new build -It office here in Nashville Tennessee there's the skyline right there in front of us beautiful just left my house on our way to the office and the office is not done yet, so this is going to be a construction update. I just wanted to fill everybody in on where we're at with the office, explain the rationale, go through the whole thing from a construction standpoint, design standpoint, give everybody just a brief update. And then once the office is done in July, we'll have another video walking everybody through the office itself. So you'll be able to see it under construction and then you'll be able to see it when it's all done. So we're going to head there and pick up outside of the building. So we're in Germantown. This is just a few minutes from downtown Nashville. Really cool part of town. It's growing. It's getting built up very quickly right now. We got in at the perfect time. It was just dumb luck how we managed to get this space. I'm, I don't know. But right next door we have the biggest development project in the city across the river. Oracle's going in to spend another billion dollars. Uh, so this area is about to be absolutely wild in a few years. And we're very happy to be here. So let's go inside the building. And we're in. building it's not like they're still working so we'll do our best here the building is from the early 1900s it's called the hammer mill because they made old uh, hammer and pickaxe handles here wooden handles for World War one and World War two it's all historic flooring's original bricks original building is as is so the goal was to keep this building uh, we wanted to just keep it as beautiful as possible because it was already an incredible space when we walked in here. We didn't need to do a whole lot to it. So we tried to add just enough to make this space perfect for our business while not messing with the space too much. So you'll see throughout Matt's footage here, the, the floors we restored, we're keeping the beams as is, we're not touching the brick, we're keeping the ceilings exposed. Uh, so we tried to just tailor our design to the space as much as possible to be as respectful to the history and the building itself because it's absolutely beautiful. So we tried to create as many, a little noisy. So we tried to create as many spaces as possible in here. Uh, so right here will be a beautiful community table. Uh, up front will be a living area with couch and chairs so people can hang out up here. People can come to the community table. These are two meeting rooms, so if someone needs to uh, have a meeting in a private space, they can take these meeting rooms. It'll be uh, it's like storefront glass, like an old warehouse, the, the little smaller little glass squares. Uh, really, really exciting. 
Throughout the entire office, we have custom furniture being made by Southern Maple Co., local furniture maker. We're really, really excited about that. Uh, behind me is my private office. Trick. It's the conference room, uh, storefront glass, and we have a beautiful piece of ash for the conference table. It's historic. It was from East Nashville, which is where I live. Um, it was from a tree that fell over in the tornado early last year. I don't know if you saw it in the news or not, but they're East Nashville is absolutely wrecked by a tornado, um, and so they pulled all these enormous, beautiful trees out of there, salvaged them, and we bought uh, four slabs to make up the conference table and the two community tables, which I'm extremely excited about. The base for the conference table is going to be D8 Caterpillar, Caterpillar D8 Dozer tracks. Thompson Cat here in town has been helping us uh, fabricate the, the bases and some other stuff, so shout out to Thompson for, for helping us out there. So this is what everybody will see when they walk in here uh, first, which is pretty exciting. I guess we can, uh, we can get construction footage. Get some sick JCB footage. Seventy-five inch touchscreen TV. I saw one. I had to get one. So all along the back here are where the workstations are going to be. So they're all custom ash, Tennessee ash. They're ten feet long. They're enormous. So every person will have five feet of workstation space, which I'm very, very excited about. We went open office deliberately. Um, Transparency Wind is a company value of ours. It's really, really important to us. I didn't want any kind of weird privacy in this space, and I don't have a private office. No one does. It's, it's important. I know people have said, oh, it's distracting, it sucks, this and that. It's like, ah, scroll those people. I think this is what's best for our business. Maybe I'm horribly wrong, but whatever. To somewhat mask the noise, because I have thought this through, we have white noise throughout the entire office. So there's like, it's like 50 or 100 little speakers throughout the rafters of the entire office to make white noise, which sounds like a, it's like a, like a, I don't know, uh, just a soft noise to, to mask some of the conversation. And that should work out pretty well for us. I think we have eight workstations. So that's 32, um, 32, individual stations for 32 people. And then we'll have two larger workstations for myself and Dan Briscoe, because of course I needed a bigger desk. Behind me will be another community table. And then right here is the kitchen. So yes, kitchen, absolutely enormous. Um, typical office kitchens are not used as a functional space. They're used as a place to microwave extremely smelly tuna fish sandwiches. I, I, I did not want that. I wanted the kitchen to be a meeting place, a true place for people to gather, exchange ideas, get to know one another. So we wanted to make it enormous. It's fully functional. So we have an ice maker, we have a dishwasher, we have an oven, a range, commercial grade refrigerator that's enormous, microwave, everything like that. So all the appliances are top notch. Beautiful waterfall, custom concrete countertop, custom cabinetry. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful meeting place. Antique lights will be hanging up top of the, of the counter, the island. So we're, we're pretty excited about it. This is gonna be what I think is like the central meeting place for our office. It'll be a really important piece and probably the, the showpiece of this entire space. It doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but it's gonna to come together and look pretty damn nice.
look good. Uh, right there, doesn't look like much yet. We're gonna have a TV right next to the kitchen with different metrics for our business, financial metrics, web traffic, whatever it may be. Uh, I just want to be exchanging information freely within the office, so I want to ensure the TV next to the kitchen, central meeting place to allow us to share things digitally with the team and with people coming in and visiting. Um, so that's an important piece, and it'll have pin-up and there'll be whiteboard space, plants hanging down from the top. It'll be pretty cool, this whole area. Um, so when people send us Christmas cards, <laughs> pin them up and do all sorts of stuff there. Up front, I forgot to mention, we're gonna have shelving for the hard hat of every build with partner which is really exciting um, jessica has been working on getting us every single hard hat of every company we work with it's just she has a stack of them at her house and they'll all be displayed up front which will be pretty cool the whole idea around the space was to celebrate our partners in the industry so we tried to incorporate the industry uh, throughout the entire space and that's why I didn't want a space that was polished either. I, I worked really hard to find a beautiful, beautiful building like this because I think it it nods to the work we do and to the partners. It's it's not refined, it's not perfect, it's it's it just feels like the industry, which which I thought was important. Um, going to artwork too, up front, we're gonna have old heavy equipment marketing material on a wallpaper in one conference room. Then the Arnold Conference Room is going to be history of this building and of this neighborhood, which will be super cool. Um, we dug it up in the archives, the library or something like that here in Nashville, and uh, we just wanted to recognize the history of the space, so we dedicated a wall in one of the meeting rooms to the history. I guess... Continuing shout outs, I would like to give Vance Boss a shout out. Molly Abbott, she's our designer, absolutely wonderful. None of this would be a reality without her. Centric, architect firm. They took Molly's design and made it into plans. Thank you to Centric. Contractor is Tenant Building Group. We've been working with them for a few months now, great folks. A project like this takes a lot of very, very talented, wonderful people, and we've been very fortunate to find those people here. Uh, without them, I would have no idea how to do any of this. So, full disclosure, none of this is really my idea, but we found some really great people that have had all these ideas and have actually put them together, which is extremely, extremely exciting for me to see my vision start to carry out in a physical form is, I, I can't really put it into words. One more thing. We have a coffee bar up front. I don't have a fancy espresso machine. It won't be any of that espresso because I like fancy coffee. And we also have a full bar. Full bar. It's the same. We work with contractors. Just saying. wall decor. Yeah. Thanks to uh, Tom's Machinery. I have another crate of parts on its way from California. Thanks to Quinn Use Parts. Do you need cat parts? I've never been to a place as big as Quinn Use Parts in Fresno, California. And they ship all over the world. That's the visit, that's the office under construction, done July. To do an outro rather than me talk, let's just go to drone shots.